Folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It's going to be a quick update for uh, a little bit before the middle of July. So I'm uh, going to walk through the garden, show you the chickens, and that's about it. It's going to be a short one. So real quick, this little garden right here, kind of let it go. There's too many tree roots in here from these trees. So uh, Basically all we got going in here is this one fooled you pepper and I haven't been watering it enough to uh, keep it healthy. But, uh, I need to keep that thing watered and there's a few onion sits amongst all this crabgrass. And uh, get out of my shadow. So we got some red onions in here. These were just extras I had from the onion sets. And uh, I just stuck them over here, but it looks like they're good good to go. They need to be pulled up and harvested. Uh, this peach tree here, it put on a few peaches, but uh, they didn't develop. I don't know why. Uh, we just started watering the fruit trees. Uh, I filled them up with water a couple days ago. Uh, it hadn't rained in probably two weeks now. Uh, the comfrey that we transplanted in here is hanging on, at least on that one. Some are doing better than others. This one here is not doing too good. I transplanted that one uh, later than that other one. But anyway, uh, over in the compost, the uh, sunflowers are about done. And we do have, I think there's a watermelon or a cucumber growing in there. Can't tell exactly what that is. But, uh, probably dig down in there and find some fruit growing and that looks like cucumber there I think that's what that is as well but uh, so underneath all that grass is the compost pile and over here is a newer one so we've been putting the garden scraps in here that we don't give to the chickens and the manure is in there as well And we're getting some peaches. These are almost ripe. They're still a little hard to the touch. But uh, if we can get them before the deer get to them. <laughs> the uh, other peach tree has already gotten ripe. It's a different variety. It was over here and those are already done. We only got a couple off of there because they got ripe before we were ready for, to pick them. Didn't realize they were ripe. Uh, the garden is really doing good this year. So uh, out front here we got basically flowers. Some sunflowers, zinnias. I don't know what all these are called. And I think this is a butterfly bush right here. So those are doing really well. Let's head on inside. So uh, in here is the carrots. I don't know if they're putting carrots on the bottom, but they look pretty good there. Sunflowers. This is lettuce, it's starting to bolt. So the taller bolts are pulling it up and giving it to the chickens. And over here we got the chives and some peppers. We're getting some little peppers on here. That looks like a bell pepper. And we pulled up the white onion sets, and we still have these red onion sets. Those look a lot better than the ones <laughs> growing over there in the grass. And cucumbers. We've already got a few. There's some snuck up on us and got really big. We didn't know they were already making, so uh, we pulled those off. But uh, thinned the leaves out a little bit so we can see through there. And they're, they're going up that uh, panel really nice there. And this is celery, so we're seeing what the celery is going to do. And back over here on the left is the green beans. We've pulled green beans or picked green beans twice already. We've got some of those put up, so there's some nice green beans growing in here. Looks like we need to go through and get them again. 
and uh, that one there's a pole bean not sure how that got mixed in the seed but it started vining so we put up those little trellises there and here's the uh some hollyhocks man they're getting tall and the broccoli is ate up with these little little worms so we didn't spray this year i got some bt but it's too late now they're gone Let's see if i could find one of those little worms i've been spraying them with uh dawn dish soap that seems to kill some of them here's the corn row corn's doing good and we haven't sprayed the corn and i've noticed uh some of the ears will have a hole in the in the side of the ear but they're not getting fat yet that one there's getting pretty good sized but it's still pretty small and in between the corn is cantaloupe and i noticed yesterday there's a cantaloupe hanging off the back outside the fence there And here's some broccoli that's just really ate up. So, I was wanting to pull it. My wife said, no, leave it. So, there it is. <laughs> I don't like broccoli anyway, so. I don't know. I guess it's supposed to put a head on in here at some point. We're keeping it watered and everything. Uh, so, here's the tomatoes, man. They are doing good this year. So we got them planted a lot earlier this year. Last year we didn't get this garden done until June. So we got up, everything planted was like mid late June. So that was really hard on the tomatoes. So they got a good start. Uh, we're starting to harvest uh, onesie twosies off of here, ripe ones, but uh, we're gonna get hit all at once with a bunch of ripe tomatoes. So we'll probably have enough to put up some sauce Keeping the marigolds in there with them for the keep nematodes away. Haven't had a nematode problem yet. Knock on wood. So tomatoes are doing really good. And this row here's some more peppers. There's a nice looking little bell. California Wonder it says. And here's one. So that is a better bill. Our yellow neck squash. Uh, there's one there ready to be picked, but see how that's wilting? We got the uh, squash vine board worms in the vines, and it took them out fast. So see how that's all ate up. So. Squash beetles didn't do this. It was, uh, there was a worm inside there. See how it just eats that up from the inside out. So I did some reading on how to control those and basically uh, you gotta keep spray on them all the time. And I'd really rather not do that. So this has got some blooms on it, but it's not gonna make squash, it's gonna die. And here's uh, some more green beans and peppers are all what's left right here. And then beets, which the beets need to be picked, picked and pickled. And the sunflowers are doing good. These are all volunteer sunflowers. There's a bumblebee. Hey, Bumble. So yeah, the sunflowers are all volunteer and they're doing really well. Not that we do anything with them other than they just look pretty. <laughs> okay, let's uh, pick some of this lettuce and get over there for the chickens. Man, it is hot out here. 
it's in the 90s and there's not even hardly a breeze. Okay, that's enough. We'll get them some comfrey, too. Let's work on this one here that looks like it's kind of drying up. Take off some of these outside limbs. <laughs> So we are starting to get uh, some small pullet eggs from the golden sex links, the uh, red ones, which I didn't think they were going to lay till August would be six months and it's July and there, there's a couple laying already. So uh, let's go see what we got and as far as eggs. So we got two pullet eggs. There's one. That's uh, from the Orpingtons there. Hey there. What's happening? What's up? <laughs> and here's, so we got getting two pullet eggs a day. So they'll just start to get bigger. So looks like we got four eggs from the Orpingtons. You need in here? I think she wants some privacy. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of hot for them to be out here eating in the sun, but uh They'll work on it throughout the day, and uh, the shade will be over here after a while. But uh, that's the end of the video. It's a short one. Just wanted to give a quick update on the garden and the chickens. Got the new chickens are laying already, so that's a surprise. So uh, be sure and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, give me a thumbs up on the video if you would, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. <music>